that my sister Alexis and well maybe I could blame it on her and she could take the blame for me well then I told her that it was her and then it was like really bad and I felt bad because she took the blame for me and today we will go back to a story of how Jesus took the blame for our sins by dying on the cross for us um, our color is light which means cleansing because he cleansed all our sins so that we could live peacefully. He died for us. So I'm going to read out a story that we have put together. And I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be reading Matthew 28. Chapter 28. Verse 10. After the Sabbath, at the dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Madeline and the other Mary went down to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake. What? Oh, shit. That's an earthquake. <laughs> it's crushing it. <laughs> For an angel of the Lord came down from his heaven and is going back to the tomb. Roll back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him, they shook him and came like dead men. The angel said unto the woman, do not be afraid. I know you are here to see Jesus, for he is not here. He is just risen. You can see where he lay. He's not there. He is risen from the dead and is going into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I told you. But, but Jesus, he, he died on the cross. We watched him. He should be here. He is risen like he's promised. Don't worry. He's just gone ahead of you into Galilee. You can catch up with him if you got there. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped at his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. They, there they will see me. Greetings. But you died. You were on the cross and watched. So, what happened? 
happened to Jesus after being in the grave for three days? He rose from the dead. That is right. He did rise from the dead. Why did he rise, right, rise from the grave? That's right. He would. What else did he rise from? He's perfect. He is perfect. He is very perfect. Jesus rose from the grave for our sins. He he died for our sins and came back. And now he's sitting in heaven on the right side of the Father. Yeah. So, yeah, he, he came back from the dead. No other man on earth could have done that. And was crucified? Yeah, that's, that's like a big deal. Because, I mean... Like, I have never seen, have any of y'all ever seen, like, somebody come out of the grave and be like, oh, what's up, y'all, I'm back? Like, y'all ain't never seen that, have you? I ain't. No, no, okay, yeah. So, white, our white, our color today is cleansing. And that is what Jesus did on the cross, he cleans. So, um, my friend Christine here, she's going to be talking about the color white. And she's going to get it, she's going to explain it to y'all a little bit. So today's color is white. Um, what does white represent? Cleanse. Good job. <laughs> what are things like before trusting in Jesus? What are things like before trusting in Jesus? Stay right. 